On today's episode, I'm going to show you some really beautiful, amazingly and inspiring website. And not only that, I'm going to show you why I love them so much and hopefully give you insights that you can use on your next web design project. It's going to be crazy. Let's rock and roll. All right, so let's dive deep into the first website. This is a website called Rouser Lab. And as you can see, when we were loading it, there's kind of a bubble here that floats around. And actually, you can interact with it. And you can see when we're scrolling, uh, not sorry to burst your bubble. So let me scroll down first and give you the experience. They're talking about making things that make you think and change is going to happen. So obviously there's something here with social change. Um, with you on our side, we'll, all, we'll be even louder. And as you can see, when we're scrolling down, the bubble kind of gets bigger and bigger. And at some point it says, list burst the bubble. And you can see that the bubble is burst actually when coming down here. So there is actually a bursting experience here. So besides the fact that it's cool and let's burst the bubble again here it's bursting here bam so not only is this really visual cool and really kind of a cool experience to interact with and it's very very playful what i really love about this besides that it's beautifully done is that they're using this gimmick a lot of a website use these kind of effects just to make something look cool but here they're using it to send a message right the whole message is here is bursting the bubble and they're using the bubble as kind of the visual element but the point here is that they're using this to send the message of you need to step out of your bubble so I think this is a really great way to use these kind of interactive, playful things and cool JavaScript effect hovering over your text and everything, but to send a message, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I do think it's kind of weird how they put the sign up form here on the side. I'm not sure I would do it th this way, but um, it is pretty cool. You can see that it was designed by Ed, which is an agency, I guess, from um, from Australia by the URL. So great job, Ed. <laughs> what I really love about Ed, this agency, is we build the best brands and websites. Just ask our moms. And then you click here and you get <laughs> testimonials from their moms, which I think is just hilarious. So congrats, Ed. Really nice job on the Rouser website. All right, next website is the Greta, the year of Greta. Maybe you have seen this um, and you probably know Greta, who is this uh, young child who is kind of advocating for um, environmental um, change and everything. And th in, in a way, this website is basically you scroll through a timeline of her basically history and you can see that you're going back here um, and you can see the months changing and at any point you can just stop and watch some video of her. And so basically, basically this website is a timeline website and I think we've seen along the way a lot of timeline uh, websites but they kind of use this 3D scrolling down kind of feeling like you're going through a tunnel here um, with these videos coming from the bottom which I think is a really cool experience and a cool scrolling experience kind of use of a 3D, um, I don't remember what they call this technology of where you can kind of live, live render um, the 3D elements but I think it's done pretty cool. And this website was done by Superhero Cheesecake, which is an agency. I think they're they're from Amsterdam, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, they are from Amsterdam. Amsterdam have some good designers. So congrats, Superhero Cheesecake. Really nice work on the Greta side. Next website that I really, really loved is this P-Link, which is a website that uses 3D. Now, I, I love the use of 3D and I use it myself. And you can see that it kind of gives you this kind of a quick video that really sh supposed to show you that payments become really, really fast, like a spaceship, spaceship. So they're using this metaphor and combining it with money, which I really like. So this is, this is really cool and they use this 3D in a playful way together with other kind of interactive as you see the these things pop up here and they're also yeah so again I, I really like how they're using this metaphor of 3D but also here when they're talking about scanning so they gave you this kind of a scanning experience where you're actually going and looking for this QR code now again I think that we have seen this kind of a mouse hover with 
you know, um, invert thing. We've seen this effect so many times and it's usually just used for coolness, but here they actually made this meaningful because you can scan and you go in, they created kind of a game for you to look for this QR code, which I think is really nice. I really love the art direction of this. So when they're talking about all payment methods, they kind of rearranged this in a rainbow type of thing, kind of created the gradient of color. I think this is a really smart way to showcase the information. So there's a lot of attention to the details here, which I really, really like about this. This website was designed by Autumn, another agency in Amsterdam, which is pretty weird. They're usually working in fashion, fashion and tech and lifestyle. I don't really understand how that's a niche, but obviously super great work, Autumn Amsterdam. So congrats on your work. Next website that I really, really love is this website by 5S Content. And let's see what happens. So it takes seven seconds to make an impression. We do it in five. And that's kind of the meaning of their name, five seconds content. So first of all, I really like their message and I really like how this builds up. And I don't know if you've noticed, but when I reloaded this, actually the colors of the website change every time you load it. So now it's actually the same color, but I think there is a random color palette. So now it's going to be a different color, you see, which I like. So first of all, I like the message and I like how this builds up and they're showing their show reel here. But what I really like when you start scrolling into this website, there is a lot of layering here. So notice first it comes kind of behind the text and then it goes over the text and these kind of a layering. Now these, this comes up on top of the text and now project that makes us blush, now this stays and we go over it. I really love how um, people use layering in web design to create kind of depth and to create kind of a sense that there's a lot of things that are going on here. So it's not just one thing scrolled, there's multiple things scrolling in different times. It's kind of a, I think, a more elaborate and innovative way to do parallax, which is kind of maybe boring these days, we've seen this enough, but this I think is really, really well done. Um, so I really like the way that they've structured it also with, you know, the way that they've changed their colors, everything changes dynamically every time that you reload the website. I really like this. And I, again, I super like the, me oh, I didn't notice that when you click it, oh, I was thought that it was on reload, but actually when you click the website, it changes color. So that's even more awesome than I thought. And it's so nice that they used everything is vector so they can change the color of everything using the code on a click. More mind blowing that I actually thought great work 5S content. And the last website that I really liked this month is the website of Amanda Braga, which is a fashion designer from Brazil. So no, when you're just exploring here on the hero section, you get a flash of really cool things that she's doing, but it's kind of just like a teaser. You can't really look in depth. They're just teasing you to dive deeper into the website. They're showing you kind of the jewelry really fast and then the images drops and then you start scrolling down. And basically this is a very textual website. So Amanda is a Brazilian fashion designer. And when you scroll down, First of all, you have this kind of a cool effect that brings in the text. But at the end of the day, this is mostly, mostly text. Um, but I, I think the art direction here is really nice. The way that they use the colors is really kind of like design oriented from the 50s kind of feel to it. You know, the color scheme, the, the kind of uh, geometric shapes to it. So again, notice how you can take a very, very minimalistic typographic website, but by just using very good typesetting and good composition of images and good color scheme, you can make a really, really beautiful website that again is very, very simple. Most of it is just a story written by text, but I think this is really, really fun to read through and uh, really, really great experience for a jewelry designer, a personal brand, um, especially how they intrigue you to get in there and then capture you with the text. This website was designed by Capin, an agency I think from Miami. So congrats on your work, Capin. This is it. Those were my favorite websites of this month, March 2020. Drop in a comment, what's your favorite website of this month. Do you like this format? Do you like to see the website that I like best and seeing kind of like inspiring web design? Let me know what you thought about this format in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.